We have Far Away Things by Dave Eggers, illustrated by Kelly Murphy. Lucian finds a cutlass on the beach after a storm, and then a ship's captain comes looking for his missing cutlass. He proposes a trade, and Lucian finds something even more valuable. Now, Lucian lost his father recently, and as the story progresses, the item he picks out of the captain's treasures is a light for his father's lighthouse. This book leaves a lot of the surrounding story up to the reader to decide, but has clues that make you think and ponder the story and can continue to fuel imagination. You can wonder about the captain and why he values the cutlass more than any of his other treasures. You can wonder about Lucian's father and how he died, when he died, why the lighthouse is dark now. And you can wonder about Lucian, what's he gonna do now that he has a light for the lighthouse? This story asks a lot of questions and it doesn't tell you all the answers, which is really good in a children's story because it fuels the imagination of the reader and it helps us feel like this is a real life place, real life things are happening, and the adventure could happen to anybody. Now let's look a little closer at the story. Does it teach us something we need to know? Yes. Um, it has a great story arc. It has inner conflict. Lucien doesn't know um, what he should do if he should give up the cutlass or keep it. Um, it also has the exterior conflict. There was a big storm and um, the ship is stuck on a sandbar. Is this original? I've never heard this story before. Yes, it's very original. Um, the setting is beautiful on a shoreline. It has um, a lot of atmosphere and the characters are characters I'd like to get to know better. They seem like real people and um, is there an emotional payoff? Yes. You go through a lot of emotions in this story and it is a great ending. So let's look at word choice. The word choice for faraway things is poetic, it's lyrical, it's very beautiful, it has good dialogue, it also has great um, choice of words in describing the shoreline, um, in describing the objects that Lucian finds, in giving an atmosphere to the story. I'm going to read you the first page so you can get a feel for how this story sounds. Lucian lived with his mother on a wind-swept shore. After storms, he roamed the beach searching for faraway things. That's what his father had called whatever washed up from across the sea far away things. One morning, after a swirling storm full of lightning and thunder, Lucian walked the beach hunting for something new. He found a trio of jellyfish looking like tiny blue moons. He found a heavy red rope tied tight in a knot. Then he saw something bright. So you can see there's a lot of great description words and it really feels like you're there with Lucian and it gives you a beautiful atmosphere. Now let's look at the illustrations. The illustrations in Far Away Things are beautiful. I want to show you how um, the illustrator uses a lot of different perspectives um, and just creates an atmosphere of the shoreline. See, this one is an overview of like his house um, and the shore. You have his room and look at all the beautiful details in his room. Um, the lovely colors in the images. And see what I was talking about, the atmosphere. Look at that. It looks like the ship is coming out of the fog. Um, and it's mysterious. It makes me almost smell the salt air. Here's another beautiful detailed picture. This is inside the captain's cabin on the ship. Um, and you can see all the mysterious objects that he's found. And then there's the lamp that Lucian picks. The 
fog is gone. Look, it's a beautiful day. Um, and everything is more sunny now at the end of the story than it was when it was mysterious and a little bit sinister. So you can tell that the artist is using the colors, using the atmosphere to tell the story um, along with the words. So the pictures play a big role in this story and the pictures are gorgeous. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.